Thomas is a very active little guy, always running around, playing outside, climbing things. He is always on the go. When he was two, we noticed some changes in him. We noticed that he was a little more tired, a little more lethargic. He had some bruising. He just wasn't himself. So at his two-year-old checkup, his pediatrician recommended that we go and get some blood work done just to be on the safe side. And what that blood work showed us was that he was fighting leukemia. So from that point forward, we were treated at Children's Hospital. We were admitted, and the day that we were admitted, we didn't know that we would be there for 35 more days. Thomas was only two, and we also had our daughter, who was practically a newborn. She was three months, so we were just settling into life as a family of four and really hitting our stride when all this happened, and our whole world was just flipped on its head. We had to figure out how do we take care of our daughter? How do we make sure our son is getting the best treatment? How do we learn all the ins and outs of raising children while going through a medical trauma like this? So it really tested our faith, it tested our marriage, it tested everything, but we were able to come through that stronger and learn that it's really just about embracing the present moment and doing the best that you can with what you have at the time. And having good people around you makes all the difference to our family and friends were so supportive and helpful. So the beads we have here are called Beads of Courage, and it's a program for every child going through cancer treatment and every bead represents something different that he went through. So the yellow beads, they all represent a day of inpatient stays. Um, some of the other beads represent blood transfusions. Others might represent art therapy or pet therapy. So it's not just about the medical aspects, but also commemorating the good times too and celebrating those milestones like getting through a surgery, but also opening up to new experiences through the child life services that they have there. It's a, a fun way to remember and honor what we've been through. He really just was a normal kid throughout the whole thing. You would never know what he was going through. He would be riding the little cars down the hallway and always on the go. And he definitely had some hard days. Um, I'd be lying if I said it was all sunshine and rainbows for him. But overall, he just took it in stride and was just a fun little boy throughout the whole process. So now we're on the path to remission. We have no evidence of disease and he's doing really, really well thanks to the treatment that he received. When Thomas was first diagnosed and received his first blood transfusion, that really just perked him up like nothing else. I was so impressed with what a difference that made and it really, was an educational experience for me. I didn't realize that so many cancer patients will have so many blood transfusions and that it's such a high demand product for treatment. And it really spurred me to do my research and become a blood donor myself. I've gotten friends and family on board. I am planning a blood drive at my workplace. And it's just something that if you're able to, you should really get out and do because you can help kids just like my Thomas right here in our community.